Hey, welcome back to another video. It is Fire Lifts. And this week, I'm going to be giving you a day in life. Um, it's not going to start today. It's probably going to start on Wednesday. Today's Monday. Uh, so we're going to get today's session in. And then on Wednesday, I'll start up the day in life. So I can kind of peel back the curtain and let you see a little bit of... This is kind of like usual stuff I have to do each day. And um, this so you kind of get more of a feel of like everything that occurs before I even step into the gym. Like I say, like most days today is, they don't, haven't changed the clock, so right now it says 8.38, but it's only 7.38. That daylight saving times or whatever gets you every time. But um, it's 7.38 at night. So a lot of things have already occurred before I even w was able to step into the gym to finish up my session for today. So we're gonna be showing you that this week. Uh, today we just have the snatch lift offs and the um, clean jerk complex, the power clean and pause jerks, I think. And then some pulls that I didn't do earlier. And uh, I did do a local competition this past weekend in Oklahoma at my teammates, uh, Daniel West's gym, uh, Pre Health and Performance. So shout out to them for running a good competition. It was smooth, good environment. Like I would do it again in RB. It was very fun competition. Uh, and I'll probably do a separate video to kind of like break down, not just like the performance at that competition, but just the reasoning for even doing it. And just like things I took away from it because it was a really good weekend that I enjoyed. Uh, so I'll make a separate video on that. Uh, but yeah, let's get into today's lifts. And then the next time you see me after this would be for the day in life. Let's get it. you right now this first set is about to be crisp but I already I already know I can already feel it crispy complex right here crispy I told you even the re-rack was nice I told you crispy Nonetheless. Thank you. 
Could have absorbed in that back leg a little bit more. Try to catch it. Got me, man. Damn. Alexa, alarm off. The time is See so far, my morning starts off pretty much right away, feeding the dog. I just do some hygiene, get myself ready for the day. You know, I'm in the army, so I always have to, you know, wash the face, brush the teeth, and shave. For uh, anyone that normally gets pretty bad razor bumps, and if it's not to the point where you think you can get a shaver profile, definitely try a single blade razor, also called a safety razor sometimes. Um, I switched to this a long time ago and it's helped out my face a lot. Before I didn't really get bumps to the point of needing a shaver profile, but the multi-blade razors did irritate my skin quite a bit. So it just never looked quite as smooth and clear. Uh, and the safety razor just made a big change for me. Going to run is pretty good for Patch. Uh, just kind of tires him out while I'm gone for the day. Plus, I've noticed that he uh, uses the bathroom a lot quicker when I run him versus walking him in the morning. I only do it three days a week though. This drive to work normally takes about 20, 30 minutes, just depending on the traffic. Lately, I like to do my squats in the morning because it just lets me push the numbers a little bit further since I have fresh legs in the morning. Plus, shortens up the workout for the afternoon. It's not two a days, it's just splitting up the workout so that it's more efficient. I'll also knock out my pulls and or presses in the morning. This kind of depends on what the uh, schedule says. This just allows me to only ever have to clean and jerk and snatch in the afternoon. Taking a quick shower, getting ready, getting dressed. Normally around this time, uh, as you see, I'm struggling to open my uh, mason jar with my oatmeal in it. Uh, I start eating my breakfast, and while I eat breakfast, I normally just kind of get ready for the day, admin-wise. Uh, going through emails, just kind of seeing some of the information that's flowing around, seeing what I need to work on specifically for that day, what deadlines are coming up, things like that. Just kind of just building a schedule for the day. 
always got to have my cold brew in the morning as well. It kind of gets me started after doing a, a run and some squats. So before I get my day started, I'm actually going to head to the store and see if I can get some vitamin C. Uh, the weather just keeps changing a lot recently. And I can just feel the sickness already trying to trying to creep up on me. I can just feel it. You probably hear my voice a little bit, but my nose is already getting congested. Congested? Is that how you say that word? And then uh, pause where I can just like feel my throat getting a little getting a little sicky. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna get started with today officially. Uh, but yeah, I was just, as you see, busy morning. I normally try to take Patch on like a 10 to 20 minute run uh, before I even come to work. That just gives him some exercise for the day, plus knocks out my cardio, and then it also just warms up my legs for the, the morning squats and pools. So. so normally just a pretty good habit to have, uh, just because with how much I'm lifting, I don't always have the time and energy to I could run during PT, but I just would rather not. Like sometimes I'd rather just get my lifts in so I don't have to be in the gym so late and later in the day. But yeah, let me go to the store and see if they have vitamin C. So as I said before, I'm a company XO, so today I'm gonna be focused on some inventories for the commander. Uh, and just doing all the admin work behind it, commanders and cores, so on and so forth. Just kind of selling any uh, property issues that come along, making sure that the right people are signed for the right thing, make sure that people have things they should be signed for. Nothing too crazy, just kind of have to put in some legwork and uh, do my due diligence there. Um, easy day though, just kind of just a lot of little things to juggle, but inventories are inventories, man. It's gonna take however long they take, nothing to stress over. All right, now I'm sitting down for lunch. I'm having some uh, tomato soup with a turkey sandwich. And this, this little combination is a hit, I'm not gonna lie. So I was really craving tomato soup this week, so I went ahead and made some. Big ass bite. And as you see, by lunchtime, I'm already uh, getting kind of sick. Nose is running. I gotta clean those hands up. So now I'm gonna finish whatever I have to do on the computer for the rest of the day standing up because now I'm in crunch time, and this is what I call that hour before 1700, because you want to go home. You want to go home at 1700. So I'm doing everything as quick as I possibly can, and just making sure that nothing is left undone. I'm gonna sit down and enjoy my dinner. It only took about 30 minutes to finish up what I have to finish up. I normally eat my meals before I leave the office so that by the time I get home, all I have to do is walk the dog. Let me patch out for a quick break here. Dinner time, he's a good boy like always. Then now I take him for about a 30 to 40 minute walk, just depends on the day. All right, so finally in the gym, I got here about 30 minutes ago, it's 7.45 now. I know I would have made it here a little earlier, but I stopped to uh, edit a quick TikTok and Instagram reel. And then still had to take Patch on his walk. Gotta get my boys exercise. Shouldn't be here for too long today, I only have a, uh, some like moderate slash light snatch balance and then uh, a cleaner drink complex. So get straight into it. Uh, I'm just gonna finish kind of like stretching out a little bit. And you can tell it was <laughs> annoying me right now is, and you can probably hear it in my voice. I like, I'm, I'm starting to get sick. Luckily it is about to be a four day weekend for me. So tomorrow's the last uh, work day of the week. And then those four days would be perfect for me to just kind of relax, take some medicine, and just let whatever this is pass over. So come Tuesday when I'm back at work, it'll be a normal, hopefully I'm back to normal. But anyway, let's get into these stash bounces. I'm 
definitely changing this music in a few minutes. I'm just not fly walking over there yet. Snatch balance is also probably my least favorite movement because it's a long arm game. And it's also an annoying movement for me because I feel like I'm inconsistently good at it. Or maybe inconsistently bad, I don't know. Some cycles I'm like good at it and I'm making progress. And other cycles I'm like, I literally can't do more than like 70. So let's see what today is. Bar so good. I can do the bar. <clears throat> My working sets are gonna be between 75 and 81. Hopefully I can do 40. One thing I'm doing different than normal, I don't know if I saw Greg Everett talk about this, or maybe it was uh, Dylan Cooper, those are weightlifting, is uh, instead of like, I feel like before I used to really, like try to get a lot of distance in my drive up, but I saw one of them say that you really don't need to worry about driving the bar up a lot, you kind of just need to pop it off your shoulders. You need to be more focused on just getting down. Because uh, when you just drop up, it's essentially just doing like a snatch jerk, if that's the thing, to where it's like you're just gonna stop the bar like way up here and have to squat it or just like awkwardly get down. So it's easier to just get that light pop just so that you create that moment of weightlessness and then just drop down. So far it's working, but it's only 40, so. Change the music up, put some Earl sweatshirt on. I'm not afraid of scaring the hoes. It's that type of vibe right now. It's annoying how like bad I am at these because like I literally just snatched 103 on a Saturday and then I'm like 70s that that's smooth like it's a struggle. First work is it. That's the issue right there, is like sometimes I just catch it and I'm just out of position. It's like with my hips, like I'm too far back or something, I don't know. I guess I'm just not going straight down, it's got to move more intentional. That's right. 
That second one wasn't so good, but that first one was damn perfect, I feel. The only thing I really changed was uh, being more intentional with spreading my feet. I don't know. Try to get next to Probably the best set. All right. I think I might have figured it out. Cause I had watched that last set back. I think even though I was saying that I just need to focus on just dropping under and that, like driving so much. Until that set, I think I was also dipping too far down to drop the bar up. Like it just needs to be a quick, like shallow dip and go up. So that yeah, works better. We'll try it on the last set too. Mm. I'm normally not this tired going into lifting. I think it's just because <clears throat> I'm starting to feel under the weather a little bit. I know I come in here with a little bit more energy, like like you saw me on uh, Monday. But right now I'm just like, damn. <laughs> just trying to trying to get the work in. All right, let's go. Okay, say so I didn't like the first one that much. This is gonna be one clean pull plus clean push jerk. Only going from like 95 to 102. Hit y'all with a grown man leg real quick. So yeah, that's pretty much my full day. I'll show you the uh, bedtime routine. Uh, I got one more meal to eat. If you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, then in real time you know that I'm about to start my bulk. I am officially, I don't wanna say it like that because I'm not that big of a deal. I am moving up to the 89 weight class. Uh, so I'm not gonna be competing as an 81, at least for the next few comps. I just wanna see how it is to be 89. Probably won't fill out the weight class completely, but I'll at least get up to like 86. Um, I'll explain more why uh, in the video I'm gonna do that recaps the uh, Oklahoma competition I did over this past weekend, and I'll come up pretty soon too. But um, yeah, that was pretty much my whole day. Uh, I'm gonna clean this up and get up out of here. If you're wondering why I didn't do any accessories, it's because with the new schedule that I've been doing, 
is uh, since Tuesdays are now a rest day since I'm only doing four days a week. And then Thursdays are always have always been my rest days, but with the army, I still have to go to PT, right? So what I normally do those two days is just pretty much do all my accessories and like a little bit more. Um, and I don't necessarily, I'm not gonna say I do necessarily every single one because to do them all on the same day, some things do get repetitive. But I do the majority of them. I find like ways to substitute things that, like I said, might get repetitive doing. So I hit the same muscle just in a different way. Maybe use a machine since I'm in an actual uh, commercial like gym on base. Uh, so that, that that pretty much helps with making sure I still get my accessories and just kind of keeping the smaller muscle groups that we don't normally use in weightlifting uh, strong. But yeah, thank you for watching. Like I said, I'm still going to show you just kind of like the bedtime routine, just be a quick montage. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe as always. Follow me on Instagram, man, and TikTok, especially TikTok. Like, give me to, I think I'm in like the 400 something for followers on TikTok. So like, give me the 500, man. Instagram, we broke a thousand. I think we're like a thousand and thirty followers. So, road to two thousand, but that's gonna be a long grind. But you know what I mean? Just follow me, man. Join this uh, process, because you already know I'm gonna keep progressing, and I hope you keep progressing too. But yeah, let me get out of here. It's almost uh, 9 o'clock. It's 8.50 right now. So let's close it up. See you next time. Alexa, lamp off. Okay. Alexa, when is my next alarm? Your alarm is set for every weekday at 4.30 a.m. Alexa, bedroom light off. Okay.